1988 Sony Trinitron portable. This is actually a comeback. We worked in this, we worked on this in a previous video, and I changed a couple uh, Zener diodes in the power supply. KV8AD10. And this is just why I'm not taking any outside repairs on anymore. You know, trying to keep this stuff going for someone else that its designed life ran out 30 years ago. Is So when I plugged it in, there was a spike and it went up to 3 watts and now absolutely nothing. So yeah, it's got to be another power supply issue. And I told the guy when I gave it back to him, get a power strip. Put it on a power strip, use the power strip to turn it off when you're not using it. That way the power supply doesn't just sit there and run the whole time. And he did that. I don't know if maybe that hurt it or what the deal is. So this is the power supply board. I think this thing will do 12 volts or this down converts the AC line to 12 volts on. I'd have to rewatch the previous video. And the Zener diodes we changed were in here. They're these two. And, wow, is that baked. And yeah, I upsized them. This is why I told him to... Something looks like it popped in there. Maybe not. I told him to turn it off because this power supply just sits and runs and just bakes. Look at that. And that's why I upsized the Zener diodes and stood them off the board. I need to go back and watch my previous video on this. It's like the diodes are running so hot. Yeah, that, that sucker is shorted. I think they were in parallel, if I remember right. Yeah, they are. They're in parallel. So one of the two of them has shorted again. Okay, this one's shorted again. I pulled both of them out and measured them. This one measures 0.6 volts one way, open the other, because I only have a two volt, two and a half volt diode meter here. So I got it unplugged from the set. Now it should not be burning these diodes up. I don't understand what's going on with that. There's really nothing that can cause that. It comes in, it's filtered to DC, and then there's a dropping resistor here and those go to ground so unless he's got extremely high voltage where he I don't think that looks right I'm uh, I got ooh well that capacitor just Clinko twerculated. Good thing I had glasses on. Oh boy. Party time. We must have a high voltage problem here. Figure we check this. Yeah, 40 volts. That'll, that'll cause the capacitors to uh, pop. That's why I unplugged it from the TV. Oops. Okay, I think I see the problem. The board is so baked that... It, the diode was not making good contact. That's why the voltage ran away. And it makes for good video, entertaining. Okay, let's try this again. That looks a little better. We have about 11 and a half volts across the Zener diode because it's in circuit now like it should have been before the capacitors got sacrificed. Let's see what our our voltage is. Look at that thing is getting so hot so quick it's melting my clip lead. Yeah, we got 
23 volts here on the output that's runaway even with that and that stupid thing got so hot it ruined like a 12 or 15 dollar Pomona mini grabber this is not Chinese junk this is legitimate Pomona it's ruined it and it's not that old I was looking at the schematic and I have a feeling one of these capacitors is bad causing the whole thing to kind of run away and I was looking at it closely and see that capacitor right there that says 103 on it that thing looks baked that's the that's the phrase of the days that pays see that 103 right there the side looks blown out I bet that's bad causing the high voltage or not the high voltage but causing the the thing to just run away and not regulate properly because this is supposed to put out 12 volts this supply and that would make sense maybe I missed that capacitor the first time or maybe the capacitor got worse because I don't remember it getting that hot that quick that would be this capacitor right here in the primary winding and those diodes are down here these are the two di Zener diodes in parallel and they're across this the feedback winding so I, I guess if that was high then it could definitely cause the whole thing to run away there's actually nothing wrong with that capacitor. That was a blob of wax on the side of it. I went through and I removed every single component, every disk capacitor, every resistor, every diode, and I checked all of them and I put them all back in and everything checks right on the money except the little electrolytic I replaced last time. The ESR is up. It's about 20 ohms and it should be probably under one ohm so I don't know what's going on with this I think the solution with this is I'm gonna get the parts but if it's still getting too hot I'm just gonna get a 12 volt wall wart and first thing we'll do is we'll test the TV on batteries and see if it got hurt when this screwed up but I think the solution would be just to get a, a new 12 volt wall wart. The regulation on the new stuff is so much better and, and it's just, yeah, I'll put this back in the TV so the TV is complete and original, but I think for reliability goes, just let's get rid of this. So running on batteries and I'm just feeding it into the power supply. Uh, it's drawing 1.45 amps and it's working so it looks like it did not get damaged which is good thing those Zener diodes short rather than go open so we need like a 12 volt 2 amp wall wart and that's not a big deal continuing on with our Sony I picked up two 5 watt 10 volt Zener diodes and I picked up the 22 microfarad 50 volt capacitors to replace the one in here that was high ESR and then I picked up a bunch of uh, replacements for the ones that popped. Okay the ESR on this one is 0.72 the ESR on this one is 1.1 the ESR on the one that came out of there is 26 ohms I wonder if that's what was causing the diodes to heat up. Okay, you know what? It's not pretty, but it's legit. Those are supposed to be two half watt Zener diodes, and they're now two five watt Zener diodes. So I went from one watt to ten watts. And we got nice new capacitors I just hope that small electrolytic was what was causing them to heat up alright let's see what happens here nothing okay we got 16 volts on the output now I had left this black wire disconnected which connects the output of the rectifier to the filter capacitor so 
16 volts is probably within tolerance. Okay, with the power supply connected and the TV turned on, we're at 13.4 volts. Uh, that's acceptable, and the diodes are not even getting warm. So I'm going to say the problem was that little small electrolytic had gone up in ESR and was something was going on here. I actually purchased this. This is 12 volts at 2 amps. And this was like 10 bucks and I was just going to wire this in place of this if I needed it, but I think we're good here. So yeah, that's interesting. I had changed that electrolytic last time and maybe I shouldn't have. I'm gonna let it run for a while and see how hot these diodes get. Okay, so here's a look at the board and you can see the diodes are not even getting warm. The transistor is in some of the resistors. And here's a look at the TV. You can see what's getting warm in here. There's a little bit better of a view. And that's with it turned off. So yeah, the diodes look good now. I'm going to turn the TV on. Look at the chip heating up back here. No problem, all fixed. Must have been a bad electrolytic capacitor. It's always a bad electrolytic capacitor.